Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Today we're gonna to look at how to stop your iPhone from spying on you. So my name is Emilia and I work in the IT industry and you may or may not know it, but your iPhone is tracking you. Uh, it is checking your location, it knows what sort of ads should be targeted to you and a whole bunch of other things. You can stop that. So we're gonna get our iPhone here and we're going to uh, do some setting changes on your iPhone. So here we are on our phone and we're gonna look at uh, essentially how to prevent your iPhone from tracking you as much as possible. Now, at the end of the day, there's no sure way to stop all tracking on a phone. Uh, it's pretty pretty hard and even if you can go and turn things off, uh, there are still things that have been tracked because essentially by your phone being on a cell tower, uh, communicating to a cell tower, it is always telling somebody your location. So what we're really doing here is putting things in place that you can prevent or limit um, the sort of tracking that is being done or the spying that is being done against your phone and your activity. Uh, now what we're gonna want to do is open up the settings on your phone. So if you go down to privacy, just there on the bottom with a little hand, a blue icon with the hand, and you open that up and you go all the way down to the very bottom, you'll see advertising listed right there. Select that. And then you'll see there's an, an option here for limit ad tracking. Essentially what you see right there is it says, opt out of receiving ads targeted to your interests. You maybe still receive the same number of ads, but the ads may be less relevant to you. So you can actually go and limit ad tracking. So your phone knows your activity, uh, your activity trends, uh, so you can go and limit that just by selecting limit ad tracking, just like so. You can also select view ad information um, if you want to see some information about what that actually is in relation to your Apple apps themselves. Other things that are sometimes good to look at limiting uh, to prevent, uh, I guess, access or your phone from spying on you is looking at disabling things like Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, GPS, uh, mobile data, those sort of things, um, if you're not using them all the time. Um, if you know you're not gonna use it, turn it off, because if they're on, then your phone is in, in a form of discovery mode. Uh, if your Bluetooth is on, then anybody who scans that Bluetooth uh, you know, frequency will be able to see your phone. So going into Bluetooth, turning it off, uh, going into Wi-Fi, turning it off, uh, using your mobile data, turning it off, Things like that will definitely assist uh, with keeping your phone on the down low and not um, visible from the outside world, or at least preventing certain things from being visible from the outside world. The next thing you can do is, again, within the settings area, is going down to privacy down the very bottom. You see the very top option there is location services, and that is currently set to on. You can go and uh, change further settings to these applications themselves that aren't directly related to the location services. So it's good to look through this, like Bluetooth, for example, like what apps are you allowing Bluetooth to be able to be used? Um, so in our case, we're looking at just location services and you can select that. And you're now provided with a list of all of the applications that you have on your phone that are uh, using uh, location services or at least tracking. Uh, and you'll see that it says right there under location alerts, it says location services uses GPS, Bluetooth and crowdsource Wi-Fi hotspots and mobile tower locations to determine your approximate location. So uh, you're gonna get known where you are. Location settings are also done on your Apple Watch. So if you do have an Apple Watch, look at changing it from there as well. I can go into this one application right here and say never. So then I can limit that particular application from even uh, knowing where I am uh, at all. Um, sometimes you may want certain applications to know where you are uh, in order to uh, let that application know because uh, in, in this case, 13 cabs is a taxi application. Um, so if the taxi doesn't know where I am, um, it's gonna make it a bit more difficult. While this app tracks with my location and tells the taxi driver where to find me. So there may be cases where you need to have some of these left on. But if you wanna be super, super sure and you want to prevent um, location services as much as possible, just go and turn the main option off right here. You'll see that it says it's gonna be disabled for all apps. 
um, and you can just select turn off right there. Something that definitely will assist with um, really controlling a lot of the, the access and the tracking and the spying that is done on your phone is using a uh, VPN, getting yourself a VPN tunnel created. Uh, however that may, you know, however you want to do that, you can create one in your own personal environment at home. Uh, you can sign up with a, with a company that does VPN. Uh, once you have a VPN account created, uh, you can establish a VPN connection by going into settings on your phone, scrolling down to general, down to the very bottom, you'll see VPN is listed in there. From within here, you wanna add a VPN configuration. It's gonna ask you for some sort of information. It's gonna ask you what sort of uh, VPN you want to be using. Uh, you can create one of those. The options and the settings that you want to set up in here to create your VPN will be different. Uh, they're generally going to be provided to you via your VPN provider. Uh, for example, if you even have a VPN uh, at work already configured on your laptop, for example, that you may take home, or if you're a student and your university provides you with VPN credentials, you could potentially use those in here so that when you are using the internet, you're guaranteeing that your traffic is flowing through your VPN, which is controlled. It's a lot more secure than if you're in a hotel, if you're over, you know, you're at a Starbucks or a McDonald's connected to their Wi-Fi, uh, you're using their service, a VPN ensures that you are routing all the traffic through a secure tunnel. As uh, you probably know, your iPhone has got a little friend called Siri, which uh, sometimes can be helpful, other times, you know, doesn't give you the right answer but it's always listening. Um, and, you know, even though it's sort of, it's unofficial that Apple are listening to conversations, that's the same thing with, um, you know, with the Alexa stuff and everything. Uh, I, I generally would say, if you're not using it, turn it off. So in your settings area, you've got Siri and search there in the middle. And you see that it's got the listen for that phrase. Uh, I won't say it because it will probably trigger on your phone or on my phone. Um, it's always listening, which is a bit scary. So going in and turning that off, perhaps turning off uh, activation from a lock screen is also good. Uh, so it will give you access to things, perhaps without even knowing if somebody talks to your phone. So get into a good habit of perhaps turning those options off uh, if you wanna prevent any further access. Now remembering that by having uh, the listen option on, your phone is always in a state where it's listening to a conversation, whether if it's been recorded or listened to by somebody outside of just you, well, that's a bit of a gray area. Also disabling your background app refresh uh, does assist. Uh, so again, going into settings, scrolling down to general, Within here, you've got an option there in the middle called background app refresh. You can open that up. And really what it does is it allows an app to refresh the content when you're on Wi-Fi and mobile data in the background. So uh, it's gonna go out to your, um, to your carrier uh, or to your Wi-Fi, wherever you are on a network, and it's gonna go and refresh the application information in the background without really you even knowing. Uh, and you can go and uh, disable things manually, one by one, or I can just turn background app refresh off altogether. Sign out of uh, your iCloud account. Uh, if there's data in there that potentially could be accessed if your phone is um, lost, um, delete data from iCloud, maybe perhaps don't even use it, or just sign out. So that is my summary uh, on helping your phone or preventing your phone from spying on you or tracking information on you. Um, really, they're, they're just some things that you can do to assist. Uh, there's no sure way to stop it, and the powers that be, there's always ways to uh, track your phone. As I said, via your cell towers is a big one, but there are at least a few things that you can put in place to prevent uh, certain things um, happening, being tracked and spied on your phone. Love it if you like this video. Also subscribe to Digital Bike Computing for a whole bunch of more videos, and we'll see you next time.